Item 14 is the £62,500 from RCC. Everybody's read the document. <laughs> I think this is like. Okay. Any questions or observations? Uh, I think I'll take, we'll, we'll look at this. A bit of leeway, but not too much. Um, uh, Peter. <coughs> well, <coughs> the money's already on deposit. What I would propose is that we ring fence in inverted commas the money it's invested we take it off deposit we get some, try and get some return on it and also um, uh, get away from any financial risk and then as and when we can utilize it um, and i know you don't want me to go on about it but i mean just to mention for instance um barley thorpe is growing um, they won't have a cemetery for many years. If we if we did take over the cemetery, it would be, I think, a proper use of some of the funding, a proportion or whatever. Um, and there must be other facilities in town of similar ilk that will be used by the people of the Lithorp, and therefore um, the, the same premise would apply. Okay. I'm going to come around to England. Anybody else got any comments? Richard. Um, yes, I, mean, I, I don't know a great deal about this, obviously, on the to the council, but uh, what people have said sounds eminently sensible. If we actually have some specific task of use for that money now, then that would seem to be a, a, a good way of dealing with it. There is a point where we might not be able to come up with some, you know, we don't want to rush on, you know, we've, no. I think we've accepted the million now. now so bring it around, Tony. Anybody else got any observations or comments? Uh, uh, yes, Joyce? Yeah. I think we stop doing these email debates on this. We'll do it as, as it's been suggested, that we ring fence it and we sit down and consider at length what we do with the money. Okay. Thank you, Peter, for suggesting. Uh, okay. uh, Martin. Yeah, I'm slightly concerned that the report's only recommendation is that we determine how the funds are to be dispersed. I don't think we can do that tonight. No. no. But I don't want to be um, seen as if I'm criticising you, Peter, but I can't see how a cemetery um, is encouraging. Well, let's not, let's, 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 the let's, take it, let's not take everything that somebody says as matter. No, 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 I, I just wanted to point out that that was what the B says. I mean, it's got to be used for those purposes, doesn't it? Um, I did have two suggestions, but I don't think it's probably appropriate for us to be. Maybe we should have an informal meeting at some time in the new year, and then we can. I suggested that in January, you could sign the agreement. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, that's what I meant by email. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Uh, 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 We've nearly gone round the table. Adam, will say anything? So, proposal by Peter that the money is ring fenced, as if we yeah. put a little bit more thought. And, yeah, and that's yes. I like my ideas about that because we are looking at the informal week in January, so we can just uh, so proposed by Peter it's ring fence, and we get into more detail. Secondly, by Stan, any well, one small one small amendment. Can you call it earmarked reserve as opposed? To Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. That's the yes. Yes. Same as the inverted commas, you know, yeah. just a, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, the, so it's going to be a um, proposal by Peter that this is earmarked reserves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Secondly, by Stan. All those in favour? Wow. You've got a full house. Unanimous. And uh, <laughs> because we didn't probably do that, but that's important. Well, because well, well, I'm looking at having the informal meeting at the end of January where we're going to be doing some really bizarre stuff with you. Oh, I'm <laughs> You're not invited. <laughs> 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 well, you come along, it becomes too formal, doesn't it? So you're the boss. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, item 15 Silver Training. Uh, looking for the count, hopefully everybody's read this, uh, we're asking the assistant clerk, deputy clerk, to uh, take some training that she's agreed in the council of the to approve it, so proposed by anybody? We've got several, yeah. you wanted to make yeah. a proposed by Richard, anybody got any comments by the way? No? Proposed by Richard, anybody want to second that? Vince, all those in favour? That's unanimous. 
That just means you've got a pattern on it. Yeah, and they won't be any questions. It's only all year round. Thank you, well done. Good luck with it. So, uh, and, and just to match that, on the going back, and I shouldn't do it, just going back on the other thing, that where we have been able to do appraisal with the clerk because he's not been here is that part of this training will form part of Alison's appraisal going yeah. forward. So we've not forgotten about Alison. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 As Alison goes through the course, changes will be new. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because the course. She only shows the standards. Oh, right, okay. Um, oh, you mean the well, improvement? The improvement. Yes, yes, that's yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 Not that you need room for improvement. No, not the answer. Right, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Moving on. Right. Item 16, job advert. Um, the reason I, I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware of how much it costs to advertise for a job these days. Obviously, when I've done it at work, it's, it's a different animal. So I wasn't prepared to put my um, chain on the line, should we say. Um, and it was appropriate this was brought back to council because it was a large amount of money. The council did agree to advertise for a clerk, so um, it's just for the council to agree to, for this expenditure. And there, there is money in the budget, in the advertising budget, isn't there? Well, it's asking me if we increase. Is it? Yeah. Uh, any comments or observations or questions, uh, Martin? Yeah, I agree we've got to advertise because it's a professional position, but um, I am concerned, that obviously, that the cost is high, probably considerable, because I was driving a job seat for many years, and I look at adverts, this has got quite a lot of detail, and that's why we've got a high cost. And I'm just wondering if it could be revised and that cost. Well, we can still approve that it's advertised tonight, but I think that could be cut in half mm -hmm. with right. an information pack. I mean, professionals don't mind applying for information packs for jobs. Any, um, okay, might suggest that we review the advert. Um, that was only a comment and suggestion. Right, Joyce. Yeah, we can comment and suggestion because I agree for once with Martin. This is far too wordy. Well, oh, the council did agree to this at the previous meeting. Well, I don't remember. We may have just not realised the cost. Um, I'm, I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about the cost so much as it, it's it's not what I think it is. To be quite honest, and I think it's far too worried. And half of this stuff, they could, they could have put. Uh, clerk. further details clerk. from the clerk or oh, assistant clerk or whatever. Okay. Um, well, I couldn't read that. Any an advert? Um, I'll refer this through the chair to the clerk. Is there any guidance that we should be using for putting an advert out there and does this conform to the guidance? Mm. The, the, the advice from national sources is that you advertise locally, that's, that's the first essential, and you advertise nationally. In this particular case, you advertise it twice over the standard of the budget. Um, so that you're not advertising in the, uh, the society magazine. Yeah. Uh, I doubt very much whether that will be uh, anywhere near as costly as the um, as the cost of the two local newspapers. Um, and the thing about advertising in the society magazine as well as a NALC website is that you're targeting your advertising to existing clerks uh, throughout the, the, the Midlands area. Um, and it might be that because the advertisements are in a wider area, then you know, you'll get a better standard of candidate. However, the problem is that um, the society magazine is only published quarterly. Yes. Well, we'll take that on to yeah. the topic. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, a few comments or observations. Um, I will say uh, that the, the, the wording of the advert came to this council twice, and the council chose to uh, accept it. So I'm going to put the news. Stan, um, how many times are we going to put this in the bay? Uh, well, at this rate, no, I think. Well, it's not. It's just but, it's not well uh, as previously, I, I don't see the sense in putting it in before Christmas. Okay. Well, I think well, we can, that's, that's my problem. When it goes in, it can. I think it would. I mean, even though it says the closing date by the 31st of December 2016, that would be changed now until the back of the Yes, of course. 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 Yes, of course.
So, uh, so the closing date will be changed to the back end of January now, so it wouldn't be advertised till the new year because people are preoccupied and on that yes. case. Yes. So, yeah. well, that's, um, ordinary, I wouldn't have things come back. So I think if we can maybe authorise the budget, but perhaps that on the websites we can, because websites do have more information, but perhaps the club yeah. would look at revising it for the papers to bring the costs. Well, that yeah. I'm sorry, but that doesn't make sense. Why authorise a budget and then try and bring it down? If you're going to authorise it, it would have to come back to council because obviously it's going to get it cheaper by making it. Because to me, that looks like the, I'm not seeing it. That's the first time I've really seen it like that. That looks like one of those public notices that you don't read in the paper. Yes. Okay, that puts it in the same English. Yeah. So. <laughs> you see, the ghost was a grandmother. Risk is that something just for the needed. Okay, no, right. um, sorry, right. are you going to say recommend new thought? Or are you uh, Yes, no, okay. So, at the moment, we've got a proposal from Peter that, um, that the recommendations A, B, C, and D are in full. That's proposed by Peter. I will second that. So, all those in favour? Let's give it a go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All those against? Adam, because I haven't made that amendment, but it's. Oh, that's the part. The part we have to see if we can get it cheap. Okay, so that's eight, four. No, I'm not. Right, eight, four, and one against? Four. 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 No, I said I'm not working. Oh, abstaining. Yeah, never. Eight, eight, four. Eight, eight, four. One abstaining. One abstaining. And when you go back to the paper, sort of say, look, we might do it, but you've got to do it. You do it, actually. It's just that you feel so much, you know, you can get back. It's a female I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Basically, let's just see if we can squeeze it down. If anybody can do that. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Um, outsourcing payable. Hold oh, no, on. No, no. um, <coughs> item 17. Make sure we change the date while well, that's the 31st of January. Um, outsourcing payroll. Speaks itself, it's really, it is excellent value for money mm -hmm. and from a professional point of view. It's brilliant. Uh, any comments? Is it right? Close. We've got a proposal. It's comment. But, yeah. I think it's a good idea now that we've carefully looked at it. Um, but I would also like the council to consider outsourcing all our accounting. Right, okay, well, you, you, you put a paper to cancel to that yeah. effect. Yeah. It's yeah. not that expensive. We saw no, no, that well, let's not talk about it now. Let's not talk about it now. Right, probably. proposed by Peter, seconded by Vince. All those in favour of our source of payroll is announced. If they can sort that out. Yeah. 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 Right, no, the planning committee. Is this to appoint a new member to the yeah. planning committee? Yeah, number 18. There's no paper on this, is there? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, right. Who's on the planning committee? Someone just remind me. Peter, Stan, Stan and Vince. Lost chance. Lost chance. I mean, we are dealing with one or two really quick. They meet during the day. They meet during the day. Can I um, suggest? Yeah, if Richard's happy to be suggested. Mm -hmm. Anybody else interested? Does that mean that Richard has to go to training? I think we have we looked at I think yeah, we're, we're gonna cover all that. So proposed by Stan is that uh, Richard is um, put forward. That's been seconded by Peter, is that Peter? Yes. Seconded by Peter. All those in favour of Richard? You can vote you yourself, can Richard. Tell. That's unanimous, I think. Yes, George, you voted for him. Yes, yes um, Yeah, that's unanimous. Yeah. Just anybody else want to go on it? No. No. We've got the room access. No, 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 we've done. Oh, yeah, now we're going on to the 
representation. That was the planning committee. Now we've got the representation on other organisations. And this is to agree on which member should be appointed to represent the neighbourhood plan steering group. Take it one at a time. Stand Meeting during the day or night? What do you mean? Normally during the day. Normally during the day. No, not Gavin said wait, late late afternoon, early evening. Yeah, about two time. time. About two time, right. So the neighbourhood plan steering group, you put your name on it. I'm going to nominate Richard. Richard have to be nominated. Well, yes, unless there's anyone else who knows that. No. Richard, and you're right. Proposed, uh, Michael proposed, Michael proposed Richard, seconded by Martin. All those in favour? Unanimous. And, second. Yeah, it's Christmas, isn't it? Um, no, Rutland, Rutland Access Group. Who wants to go on Rutland Access Group? This is because Jasmine was on it, wasn't she? Again, I, mean, no I don't know, think what it is. It was an opportunity where somebody, somebody fresh would go. Right? I think Joyce, you, you would be I think I need access more than most here. I don't mind doing that. So, proposed, Joyce is proposed by Martin, seconded by Vince. All those in favour? You know. I'm just off the back of this agenda item, Chair. Yes. Would it be possible to discuss what I brought up earlier about the uh, working group with the um, with the PDWG? Yeah. Uh, uh, we've only got two people on it at the minute. We haven't put it on the agenda, no, okay. so probably not. No, that's not so. Yeah, sorry. Okay. So, yeah, but we do need to um, we do need to look at well we need what well, in that well say May we'll be looking at all of them but we do need to get at least two three other people on there oh, but I'm waiting for some uh, reports on some meetings that might be happening soon that might give us a direction on that um, item <laughs> item <laughs> item budget now then this is this is how it's going to work if everyone wants to pay attention for one moment if you don't mind the budget is a very can be a very convoluted their proposals on their working group i've sent some information into the finance working group which they did add in i didn't give as much information as perhaps i should have done but at least i did communicate it in plenty of time i guess um, so i got away with it um, but this is an idea where I'm going to go around the table and give everybody an opportunity to say what, whether they agree with anything on the budget or disagree with anything on it. And it could be that we, if we have time, because I'm only going to go till 9 p.m. I'm not, I'm not going to be on 9 p.m. because I'm meeting my wife tonight for a brief night. Hey, so we have so We don't. We will be doing the, the January meeting when we sign this off. Will be purely committed to signing the budget. It'll be a one gender item basically after all the brothers and stuff. So the easiest way might be is that if we go through the headings one at a time, so like starting on gender administration salaries and seeing if anybody has any pushback. And if things, people want to add things in, we can add them in. But people are going to have to justify any large lump sums of capital expenditure with a document by the January meeting. So for instance, I think we should be spending £20,000 on paths, for instance. I've got to justify that with a document for the January meeting. Okay? So, if that sounds reasonable, Mike, you want to say something for a start? Yeah. I, I just wanted to put my thing, because I'm not really that, but I had a comment. I made some notes, but also I had two proposals. That's how I planned it for tonight. That's how you planned it. <laughs> because I'm, no, no, that's how I had it in my mind, because I wasn't notified of any of this. We weren't sure how we were going to plan it. The so that was well, what I'll do is I'll go down the page yeah. and pick off each one, and then... I was going to have a proposal for the youth thing, but also the citizen advice. Well, that's right. We can add those in as we go, and uh, then we can... And then we can bring it to paper. We bring paper well. you, can make, you can make the comments at the paper properly. Well, anyway, so basically, uh, page one, and I say, if I run out of time, I run out of time. Because yeah. it's important what I do with time. Um, well, the budget's important. Yeah, not, not as important as my wife, I'm sure of you. 
Uh, okay, I'm going to right, general administration, salaries. Anybody got any comments or observations? <laughs> right, okay. The yeah. The estimate is fifty thousand pounds for two seventeen eighteen, is that correct? That's not correct. That's mm -hmm. I, I thought it was dropping quite considerably. But I didn't know that that figure was actually quite accurate. Because even the advertised figure was quite low and we're now paying out and it's quite considerably less. Well we um, okay. But we don't know what the final figures are. In general, we'll have a more accurate figure because we're actually bringing forward the thing where we're going to guesstimate where we're going to finish it in year end as well, aren't we? um, but which we've covered really. So, I mean, we can iron it out in, in January. We'll have more accurate details, I'm hoping. But fifty thousand pounds, no more than that. So, but all right. So we we'll, we will we will try and uh, trim it down because that's about we probably what we need is the year. To, what's the year to date spend? Thirty first of the tenth, two sixteen. Obviously, it looks like we've spent 54. It is distorted because of other figures, isn't it? Yeah. So it might be considerably less, but no more than 50,000. Uh, rent. This is the rent that we pay to the, um, the trustees here for the use of this building 12,000 pounds. So, which uh, is uh, not. No comment. Uh, NMDR offices and toilets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Martin. I did ask the question many months ago about the, um, the toilets and um, business rates. Most small businesses make money and charge and are exempt when they have one thing that's considered as a business. So, and I did ask whether we should actually be paying a business rate on a toilet where we don't actually make any income, we're providing service. And I, and I was told at one point that not that, for instance, going back to yeah, that, okay. that we would look into that, and it hasn't been. And I think that's quite important if we've not meant to pay it. You heard that? Have you heard that? Have you thought of it? Is that term? No, he's not going to be doing no, that. No, no, Can you just make it no, to, to, to inquire with RCC whether we should be paying business rates on the on the public toilet? Okay. The fact that we don't make any money. No, no, I've got the just. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do make the storage Office furniture and equipment, 8,500. No one. Yeah. No one looking. Let me get a piece of paper. Yeah, sorry. 1850 on office furniture. I'll try to get some new chairs. Um, 1850. Any bank comments, Martin? Yeah, um, I don't really know how this figure is made up, but the council did approve, and I'm not sure whether we class what's in the chamber here. Many, many months ago, the council approved to purchase of um, additional yeah. furniture for in here, new tables, yeah. chairs, yeah. and that seems to have um, gone by the way. So if we are doing budget, whether it's coming from reserves or whatever, I think that figure should, should not be included in there. Um. Yeah. Can't remember what it was, two thousand pounds or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Two years ago. So um office furniture and equipment, three thousand eight hundred and fifty. That was two years ago, I think. Yeah. Might have to come back. So so office furniture and equipment three thousand eight hundred and fifty pounds. Okay. Utilities, two thousand five hundred. Pretty good. Yeah, fine. And um, another thing as well is we have various utilities from lots of different companies, like different companies for we were paying for the bandstand here, the street lights, and <coughs> we were also told that we, that was going to be looked into. That contract in January. Yeah. That, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that we're doing the best we can on that. Insurance, £6,000. Yeah, that's um, right. Yeah, gone. Why has it gone up? Why has it gone up? Yeah, when we haven't had a. Quote. I asked Lloyd's that when I did my house insurance. No, I didn't we haven't had a quote. It's gone down. So what is it? Down. Down. It's gone, sorry, gone down. down. Why are we yeah. predicting it's going down? And insurance is actually going up, isn't it? That's right. Well, it is going up, but I renewed mine this year, that's fine. I made a saving of £100. Right? It's, it's the estimates for 1718. And the areas, the expenditure areas, are based on the expenditure of this year. When the budget was set last year, but the budget is a prediction of what 
naive be needed. It's not set in concrete, it's a prediction which has to be to ensure you've got sufficient funds in place. With hindsight now, we know what we've paid this year, and we've increased it by a percentage, which we have, I believe is over what it will be in any case, but it's better to be a little bit over than a little bit under, isn't it? Postage and stationery, £2,000, which is uh, less than in previous years, and it's uh, yeah, uh, fine. Yeah, I have a slight issue with that because obviously now everything is demanded to be sent out to us. The thickness of these agendas are uh, getting higher, the cost of postage is going up, and I just wonder why we why we're cutting. Well, the situation. I, I, I like the idea of cutting the budget, but you know we, we're sending everything out. Um, you know, we're well, it's based on an equation. It's based on the fact that in, in uh, the 31st of October we'd spent £1,251. We budgeted £2,600. So we, we're actually, we might spend more than £2,100 uh, £1, by the end of the year, but we were clearly not going to be spending £2,600. So I think. Yeah. We're in a board meeting a month now, as opposed to also not using it for the paperwork. Ah, right, yeah. yeah. Good point. Thank you. So there have been some changes. Oh, thank you. Good. Yeah, cool. No, thank you. And I think Vikings well. Thank you, Vikings. Norseman. Take Tom Viking to the local chief. Yeah, okay, brilliant. All right, brilliant. Okay. Telephone internet, um, £750. I think too dramatic there, I think. Subscriptions. Prescriptions are this way. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that for the that's the, like the SLCC now. Yeah. And yeah. Sorry, the LRA. And LRA LLAC yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And that's just mm -hmm. once again worked on a yeah. basic percentage increase. Expense and travel, three hundred pounds. We've done a lot this year, five hundred million, yeah, haven't we? Marked. Oh of course. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Okay, very far. I apologize. Uh Martin. I really better ask whether that's too low. Yeah, that's that's the considering that we are going to be going down the road eventually that people are going to train. What, what do you think it should be? I have no idea, but I think it should be increased. I think we should be looking at £800 to £1,000 on that, because if we're going to be doing training with counsellors as well. Yeah. Mind you, when we went to, uh, we went to Anthony, didn't we? We were at the sea, but we didn't we? So we claimed a lot. Um, <laughs> That was, a, that was a joke. Yeah, I know. But I'm not going to change the way I am. I'm not going to change the way I am for the sake of the camera. Uh, right. Expense and travel, let's put it up to £800 again. Yeah, I agree with that, but can't the training be done here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rachel, can't you bring somebody out here instead of us all going there? Yeah, the next one is training, Joyce. The next one is training. It's tra that was just travel and expenses and the yeah, scenic well, route. Training well, is fifteen hundred pounds. We um, spend seventy. Okay. That would include silk. What was the silk value? Three hundred and sixty. Less than four hundred pounds, wasn't it? Mm. So, Martin. Um, you probably noticed that it went up. To three thousand pounds, and the reason that went up is that councillors were going to have training. Yep. I've been on the council now quite some time and had one introductory training. Some members have been on this council and had no training. I left the planning committee because there was no training. So I'd like to see the budget go up for training. We actually what use team? it to make the council a better. No, what to? Not what reason for? Well, I, don't, I don't know how much. Training, training two thousand. But I don't think we should dramatically okay. cut it to two thousand now, and then not have any money. Yeah. Well, what it is, okay, so what we'll do? We'll, we'll leave it at fifteen hundred. Then we'll. I'm wondering whether the previous chair was still the training. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Confidence what we'll do is yeah. a question mark on the training. Yeah. Leave it at fifteen hundred now. Can you uh, double check what all of the silk will be to make sure we are covered? Yeah. We have a new member of staff. And then we train. Right. Accountancy and audit three thousand. That's about right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, is that, would that that doesn't include the outsourcing payroll, does it? Mm -hmm. Legal expenses fifteen hundred. That's probably about right. Isn't it? 
Yeah, once we get all these other documents signed off, so no. Um, HR support, that's HR solutions, that's... Um, well worth the money. Well worth the money, Martin. No, no, I'm looking at you, but I'm talking about it. Martin, I can see your hands up. The amount is not correct because it's only 100 pounds a month. Yeah, I've written down 1,200. Yeah, my sums are um, not wonderful, but I think it should be 1,200 because it's 100 pounds a month. We didn't put these in the... Yeah. yeah, so if it's 1200 and the payroll is what's that? 180. 180. Is that brings so, so make that 1500 then? No, I don't well, anyway. He's not charging any more. I've already asked him. He's saying, well, yeah, that's part of the job that he's doing. Yeah, that's 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 the that's 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 so that was he's he's, re, he's reviewing them and, and giving suggestions. We can we make So fifteen hundred pounds on the HR support. He's bringing it down. IT seventeen fifty. Yeah. Uh, where does the uh, so the articles in charge? Where does RBS uh, fees come in? Is that under accountancy audit? The RBS fees. Do you come under IT or HR support? RBS is the accounts uh, package that we bought. We can go to IT. You'll have to come under IT, so you probably want to round that up to 2000. Have if, if, if we if we're not taken RBS into account? What's that a year? Sorry, that's about 400. Yeah. That's fine. Um, it is. Yeah. Yeah. You did, or didn't you? Last year. Yeah. Okay, well, the guys, the guys are confident they took it into account, so we'll leave IT at 1750. <coughs> once again, uh, just double check that it is covered. Um, so, obviously, once those figures are put in the sausage machine, then that will change that figure there. Uh, grounds maintenance contracts were 2700. 27,000, big pun. Martin? Um, I, it has been raised before, but. Um, I've got a feeling that we might actually get around to taking over the cemetery this year. And I believe that in a meeting about two months ago, we did ask, and I know it's been now said that it's been deferred to January. It's three but months I'm, down. I'm not really sure that this figure is correct because we, you know, we're going to be tender. In it's three months down. This separate item. Grounds maintenance contract, 2,700, that's what I'm saying. No, ground maintenance contract is 27,000. Three columns below, open cemetery maintenance, 15,000. Oh, sorry, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, no, that's a different matter. That's that's not the contract. That's um, that's money coming in, isn't it? No, no. 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 It's no expenditure. I'm confused. That. Sorry. I'm confused. So, grounds maintenance contract is currently grass in the park, blah, 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 £27,000. It's a bit of a guess, isn't it? Well, we haven't it. Uh, well, it's based on what we had before, but I mean, there is a change of uh, contract coming up. Do all these yeah. budgets are guesses? Yeah, everything's oh, a guess. Yeah. 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 Uh, floral displays, £14,000. That's contracts and grants, floral displays, 14000 14, Yeah, no check there, comments, good. I think, I think that that's okay, but uh, Chairman, it saves me standing up. But I think we could save on it, as I said in my email. email. Yeah, well, yes. we've contracted three years to Plantscape anyway. So it's got to be. Oh, so it's got to be that topic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, we can recoup. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mine? Sorry, I'm a little bit hand in the air for the next yeah. one. All oh, right. Yeah. Open cemetery maintenance. If we if we take over the cemetery, we've yeah. got 15,000 yeah. pounds for the cone of the grass, maintaining the cemetery, blah, blah, blah. It does concern me because we only pay up and count council 5,000. Um, 5,500 is in the actual for 2015-16. We've taken then 9,500 from the taxpayers last year for something which we shouldn't have. We should only actually take money, that's what the audit rules say, for what we need. And we're then asking them to do exactly the same again this year, so I can't agree with that. I think okay. we should only ask for the 5,500. Okay, well, I'll, uh, uh, Mike. Because we can't ask. Oh, no, 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 no,
And just remind that we're looking at budgets, we're not looking at contracts. Secondly, the view we took is that second, a prudent view of this, we don't feel that the, we, we're not, it is unlikely we'll be in a position to take the same shows like the beginning of the financial year, the way the current negotiations are going. And we have made allowance of that, that council may, may resolve to take it over at some point during the financial year. Because that is a possibility, <coughs> then it's incumbent upon us to make provision for that in the budget. Now, whether it gets spent or not, at this stage, we don't know, it doesn't really matter. What we have to do in budget setting is to ensure that we have sufficient funds. Now, there's nothing in any audit report that says how much funds we should have. The same as reserves. If the law is the law is quite clear. That the um, Local Governments Finance Act 1992, section 32 and 43, says that we must set a budget, we must set a preset, we must have reserves. Mm -hmm. What those reserves are, whether it's a pound or 20 million pounds, is not specific. You can't, no one can say to the council, you have too much or not, e or not enough. The finance, the RFO should advise council what reserves we need to meet foreseeable and unforeseeable circumstances, finances. So I don't, you know, let, let's please remember we are looking at budgets, not at contracts. Yeah, okay. I, think I think it's important to you know, draw the line between the two. So it's and it's 15,000 at the moment. We've, we've had the situation where now two years in a row, when we said we would go out to tender, we haven't, and we are just estimating and taking money and we don't actually earmark it. That's the word of saying, but right. we, and, and that is the thing that I showed from the NAP guide. We're meant to be looking at budgets rather than arguing about how we do contracts. No, but that's me. no, I'm not talking about contracts. I'm talking about the money we're going to demand from the taxpayers that we don't actually need, and right. we shouldn't be demanding it. Okay. We've done it one year, <coughs> we didn't need it. We're doing it again this year. Right, Sam, CCTV is down at zero, which I was going to leave at zero, unless anybody wants to start paying yeah. today. Doug? Yeah. Well, on CCTV, I've just got a little bit of a niggle. Yeah. yeah. The fact that we have, as a town council, and as a town experience, rather a lot of vandalism. Yeah. Had we, as a town council, paid into that, we may have been able to get the culprits that damage the park. Uh, and uh, uh, various other little bits. I'm, I'm more than aware that RCC are holding us to ransom where they won't partake, give us the information because we won't pay them. So on that stance alone, then I'm not prepared to go into the negotiations. Oh yeah, I'm just saying that I think we've been a little bit short-sighted. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Well, they never consulted with anybody, so... No, I well, know, but... Okay. Do the council... Do, 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 well, do, well, I'm not saying it does, but when we have approached them, if we're going to get into the conversation, which we have now, if we, when we've approached them for CCTV evidence, it's actually produced no results, even when they've produced it. So um, it's it's actually proving to be an, an, an inadequate system. Mm -hmm. Oh, I beg to differ. Okay. Well, well let's not yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. discuss it first. CCTV, uh, if you want money putting in the budget, I can put money in there. Mm -hmm. oh. I, 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 I was talking to somebody today, and we have a problem with minor vandalism. Well, we're not talking so, about vandalism. No, we're, we're talking what about budget. TV is about. So I think actually one of the things I was thinking about in the new year was a proposal that Open Town Council looked into CCTV for Royce Recreation Ground and Cuts. Oh, really? No, its own system that actually works, fixed static cameras oh, pointed right. at the areas where... Produce so an agenda, an agenda so item. So we could actually so have a budget. Produce, produce an agenda item. I'm, I don't want people to keep telling me what is a good idea. I don't, not interested in good ideas. Bring an agenda item to the table. End of. Grant system, that's right, dog control. Do we want to bring back the dog warden as well then? Do we have a dog warden? No, we don't. I'm not going to be Cat warden. Cat warden. Grant citizen's advice. Now, Grant in brackets, citizen's advice. Uh, we paid them £6,500 last year. Do we want to put anything in the budget for them? Yes or no? Fine. Do we want to put anything in the budget? Um, I do have a proposal that, um, that I've spoken to Malcolm, the citizen's advice. 
don't actually need to apply for a grant application, but it's highly likely that if council wanted to and could lawfully contribute to a very important service in our community use. Do you want to put a budget figure in there? Yes I would or no? like to, but it's obviously got to be agreed with by members. We could, what it is, right? Well, this is what's going to happen. I'm asking that the council, what I wrote down here, that a figure of seven thousand pounds is set aside to contribute to the funding. Do you want like seven thousand pounds in there? For the yes, that's um, right. I'm going to explain in a moment. We've got seven thousand pounds in there. This doesn't mean it's going through because if you don't bring, you've got to bring an agenda item to this council in January's budget meeting. Justifying that, then the council will vote on whether they're going to agree with it or not. Well, that's what they have to work for. I mean, Malcolm has been, I think. You bring the agenda so item for £7,000 from the citizens' rights in January. If they you don't bring it, it, they won't have it. The that's so it's not under the old system, it's just the plan <coughs> for funding. Well, they, 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 they will justify the case. Toilet maintenance, £20,000. Yeah. Um, that was supposed to go out to tender as well months ago. Right. Sort of that now that's up for you anyway. The contract's been looked at, so twenty thousand pounds in toilets. Play area inspections is five forty, which is about right. So I'm not going to challenge that one. Um, mm. so, right. So now we're moving down to Christmas decorations, seventeen thousand pounds. Okay. Yeah. The same, it, does, it seems to be the same. But yeah. what we actually spent here today, we know. And if we buy some more decks, Martin. My understanding that that 17,000 is the final bill for them putting them up and taking them down. That's where it's been each year. And I believe you said you wanted to get new lights because most of them are now. Well, I didn't say I wanted to get new lights. I mean, I don't really mind. But the thing is, if the lights keep failing at the rate they are doing, then you're not having Because we have a contract that runs for another two yeah. years. So we need to budget for it for myself or that agenda item. It's not mine, it's not mine, it's not mine. Chair, chair, can I say it? We've got a lot to go through. Yeah, I know. This has taken a page. Why is it taking a page? We're just supposed to discuss it. We're not in detail. So, leaving it 17,000. Promotions of open working groups. 10,500, and there will be an agenda item. 10,500. How many? 10,500. Advertising 1600, which is about right. Unchanged. Yes, he knows that. You can help. Planting and tree surgery, three thousand pounds. Yeah. What is the seven thousand for additional maintenance? Is that trees or what? I have no idea what that no, means. No, additional maintenance is when Jeff gets called to do things like get rid of the seven. Right. Yeah. I will yeah. have to contest uh, what is it? I have asked and asked and asked for this to be an agenda item for the last what? How many months? Six months? Three thousand pounds is not going to cover it. I have no idea what the estimate will be because it's got to go out to tender. So I can only just suggest at five thousand for cuts, five thousand for willow, one thousand five hundred for royces, and two thousand if I've missed anything else. What does that equal? That is thirteen thousand five hundred, but don't tell me to it because well, unless Well if you're saying that Joseph, we'll hold you to it. You'll have to produce I'm so, no, I'm not going to because I've asked for it to go out to Canada. <coughs> For six months, and I am not going to work on it anymore. I, I partially agree with what Joyce is saying, and I know I said in an email, but I do object to the point where the council says, I'm not doing this. Joyce, you're the Well, not, let's not get into that. No, right? just pointing out our tree. If I was to bring an agenda item right, saying that we require up to date reports that have been lost because we have tree branches falling off, yes. which are a high risk, the tree warden would say, It's not my job. So right. I, I, mean, I, I would like to see that that figure is increased by what Joyce says. Well, you want to increase to 13,500? Yeah. If that's what she's saying, she knows, sorry, I don't think she's saying she, if that's what Joyce is saying, then I, I agree know. with that. But I would like to see Joyce bring an agenda right and to sort the tree, tree out before there's an accident. Planting a tree surgery, 13,500 pounds. I asked for it to come to this account. Well, it's not, because I told you we're going to get mine. 
I'm close to meeting at 9 o'clock. Additional, mo additional maintenance. Additional maintenance is that's, 7 pounds. That seems about right. 91 next year, going by the way. Oh, I'm going to put that up. Additional maintenance, no change then. Queen will be no change at zero. Skate park, no change at zero. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry, you're not on it. Street and park furniture, £4,000. Has anybody got an issue about that? Yes, unchanged. Unchanged? Okay. I'll say we'll turn the corner, but all the others turn the page. <laughs> Play equipment, £4,000. Yes. Is that? Yeah. Okay, unchanged then. Uh, late night shopping, £1,000. I want to know who put that in. I did. Oh, that's okay, but they obviously haven't applied for it. No, we have asked them to put in an agenda item uh, stating what they want, them, what the money has been spent on this year. So that will come into January's meeting. Yeah. A um, what do we call it? A retrospective I just like to request. Money going to the promotions group when we do something. But like uh, we do. right, okay. Well, the promotions group will <coughs> be doing something. Anyway. Catless, Catless prize giving one hundred pounds. Yeah. I put that in for you. Yeah. Yeah, but we can't actually give that because we're rewarded. We can't give hundred pounds to somebody's vocal. No, no, we're rewarded an individual on the preset. We've had this before. I oh, know we've had this on before. And, and, the, and, the, and the other and the other thing is right. when we so no, it's very important no, it's not because the other thing is the other thing is the other thing is that when we gave sixty pounds to the they said it was too much money and they didn't even give it. What, what do you think the prize given should be? They gave them a £15 iTunes. I what should the prize, what should the cash prize be giving out be? It should be about what they said, £15. Oh, so no. £15 in there. Sure. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. They won't give it. Right. Yeah. Can yeah. we not award a shield like the respect right. A general um, item, it's not a budget item that I'm afraid. Right. So right. let's leave it at £100 right. until people come to the uh, Council with agenda items. Other expenditure, agreed capital projects. Well, that's we've got nothing on that. Uh, public loans board repayment, 5,510. That shouldn't change, will it? No. Uh, other, ex other expenses? Other expenses? What's that? That's a capital. Slush fund. Slush fund. We should have a cap. We should have a We have petty cap. We should make allowance for the other half the same. Yeah. 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 Like, it's like we are 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 we the rules, right? oh, so we're not here to talk about, about the budget. Yeah, yeah. Right. Look at that Five minutes and I will close this meeting. I'm honest, I'm being serious about this, guys. Do you want me to speak to Martin for £2,000? Yeah. And can I have it before? I'm oh, sorry. No, because I've read in the thing that you can only have this tax free if it's for Right, we're not getting into that. You don't know what's going on there. You speak to Malcolm Andrews. You speak to Malcolm Andrews. You speak to Malcolm Andrews. You speak so how much, right, so the chairman's last 1,000, elections remains at 2,000, yeah. which is unchanged. Yeah. Freedom of entry doesn't apply, so no. that's at zero. Bank charges, 300, which okay. remain unchanged. Asset maintenance, 6,000 to 1,000. So we're not, I'm sorry, my what? We spent nothing. We spent nothing, okay. Good, all right, now that's sensible then, so a huge reduction, that's mm -hmm. right. Neighbourhood plan, 10,000, is that? 14. 14,000 in the neighborhood plan, and there'll be another paper. Thank you. Community lighting that's what the council agreed we'd spend was 11,000. That was a big yeah. one, council. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the last of the um, neighborhood plan would yeah. just rush through with that additional 14,000. No, it's not an additional 14,000, it's an additional 4,000. Maybe yeah. 14,000. Well, to us, it's an additional amount of money. Um, if we get the grants, is this going to be reduced? It'll be that'll be covered in the paper in January. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Uh, so community lighting we've covered now. Then, 
before you move on, yeah. can I add uh, the heading? Because obviously I work oh, yes. yeah, what's yeah, been done, and that's for youth services. And right. We'd like um, so mark £12,000. Adding in youth services, Mark will produce a paper in January, £12,000. Yeah. £12,000. Anybody else got anything else they want to add in where they think that we should be spending money? Well, we have reserves, but we're not taking that into account on this project. Anybody want to say anything else? Um, new building? Can we have to pay possibly two and a half, three thousand pounds for signage? Signage? Yes. Is that the one you're going to write? We approved that. We said we would, first part of the working group for the cut to close, we would look at signage in that sort of terms of reference. And we've not referenced it in any of the other ones. Yeah. So, can we allocate 3000 for that? Is that okay? Yeah. So, they have put another budget heading in. Signage. Yeah. 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 3000 yeah. It'll come under, it'll come under um, general, yeah, it'll come under, under the cat mode prize. Close, I believe, needs to be a separate thing, and that would be £19,000. Yeah. I will have a paper and some quotes for you in general. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is yeah. Cuts the tarmac yeah. and hats. Cuts clothes. Hats. 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 Yep. Yep. Is that part of that? Possibly. But the thing is, I don't think we can go for certain funding if our reserves are too much. No. Right, we've got one minute to go through the income. The thing is, on the income, um, these go up by our set standard rate, don't they? Income goes up by an agreed is it one and a half percent or whatever it is or the so this, all this income bit is to show us what our income is. So for the Bowls Club, our income for 2000 next year is going to be 715. Well, it's. I think that's cheap. It is cheap, but it's what's agreed. Yeah. It's set, these are contracts that have been agreed in stone, unfortunately. Tennis club rent, the same. Princess Avenue building, obviously, there's some negotiation still going off it there, but there will be money coming through. Rutten House Community Trust. Um, you know, eighteen hundred on there. Cuts close lettings, two thousand. Yeah, it's like the same. Yes, I know. Yeah, might get two sixes this year. Just a quick question on Princess Avenue building. Michael sent me an email this week saying that it was eleven thousand pounds, but why does it show seven thousand five hundred? Because it's eleven thousand pounds for the full fiscal year. They will be taking up the when they sign the lease. They'll be signing the lease as from September. Oh, yeah. So until. By the moment we're getting hundred pounds a month for Christmas, after Christmas that goes up to three hundred pounds from now, which has been factored in. As from the first of September, subject to the lease being signed, they then take over the building in its entirety, and it's so it's pro So, okay. so that's what we can expect to get in, in the coming fiscal year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rutland House Community Trust, eighteen hundred. Um, cuts close lettings is fifty thousand. Allotment rents, I know they're low, but we provide allotments as we do. Interest that'll be from the banks. So we've had two hundred and thirty eight pounds this year. It's not bad, is it? Wow. So it's worth being sent to Coventry, isn't it? Um, and then obviously grants. That was human. That was grants. LCTS donation. Blah blah. Other income is obviously. So what it is now, what will happen next is that uh, the finance working group who are doing sterling work, <laughs> along with the bar, 
we'll revisit this paper, drop, add all those figures into the um, spreadsheet, it'll recalculate, it'll generate a percentage, and in the January meeting, we will be having these papers that the county will then get an opportunity, Martin will present whatever, I will present mine, and we will vote whether we have them or not. Are we either left in or taken out, or then have our end budget. Yeah, yeah, you can make that point. Listen in, Michael, what point are you holding us? Thank you, The deadline for the preset demand is the 20th of January. Which means we're allowing the clerk time to do the calculation of the preset. Yeah. We don't yeah. have everything done, I would suggest, four or five days before that. That, that's that's an the we can't go by that. And what's the date meeting? To, 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 the deadline date is the meeting date is the meeting the 11th, sorry. So the 11th is the day when we make it. Peter, that's probably what we're Thank you. The 211,000 at the bottom is what we've got to pay next year. What we're proposing here is last year of that. Can we have a steer from you? Last year we used 16,000 from reserves. Mm -hmm. It would be sensible if we um, factored in something. Otherwise, you're going to be facing, if you voted everything through, a very significant right. increase. Yeah. So, reserves, what about the steer? Any idea? Yeah, they, 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 our reserves at the end of this year will be, and this is this. Excluding the sixteen and a half thousand pounds, it will be one hundred and forty-four thousand four hundred and thirty-seven pounds or thereabouts. Now that that is general reserve and earmark reserves. Our earmark reserves, I would suggest, are fragile because we're not building up we're not building up um, earmark reserve for things which in the future we would have to do, for instance, yeah. the your footpath, yeah. Yeah, foot mm -hmm. like, like all the play equipment, at mm -hmm. some point, we'll need, re we'll ask for need replacing, mm -hmm. unless we, mm -hmm. unless we have to yeah. have yeah. air Right, thank you. We've got, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't make a comment, if you don't notice in five seconds, I'm going to say like, I'm going to shorten it. What I'm going to say is that I'm disappointed knowing that we have a huge reserve, we were told, at one stage, right. we only had 20,000. Well, let me finish, please. I would like is. to see a figure of where the reserve is because we are going to be setting a preset of highest this council has ever set <coughs> in a very difficult time for people who have come to this So I would like to see some of the right. reserve views, right. please. The meeting will be closed. It's now closed. It's four in the past, I think. Um, the guard says the council has to at least six months worth of room. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.